If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys a project I created as a guest designer for this month for um, Shabby Art Boutique and Carrie Ann English is the owner and operator and designer of that digital club and I absolutely love her papers. I've uh, been a member of her club uh, before and um, I had reached out to her. Listen, let me tell you this really quick, like super sidebar. Yesterday I had a root canal and although uh, it doesn't hurt hurt as bad right now it is hard to talk and open my mouth wide so that's why it sounds like I'm talking through my teeth and I'm a little slow so um so pardon that but I did want to share with you guys this project that I created so um I reached out to her for this kit that was coming up she had done some sneak peeks and it's absolutely beautiful for the month of November it's winter wonderland Christmas themed paper super super shabby is Carrie Ann's style so I had asked her if she could uh thought about making some of her images um in African American colors black colors um just different ethnic ethnicities in her paper and we were going back and forth with a lot of dialogue and she was open to that concept and she did it and put it in this kit and I love it even more so what you see here is pieces of the kit um a lot of things I've cut out because I'm going to be doing some other projects but it's a really pretty if you're into the shabby colors um pastels just funny um, little sayings on here. The skate is my favorite. So you can see I've cut it out. I pr I've printed it and cut it out on my um, my 12 by 12 printer. And then I cut it on my portrait this time because I was at my desk. And I just put my portrait up here and just start working. So you can tell I use a specialty print paper. You can tell the difference between, let's see, you can tell the difference between this paper, which is 120 pound cardstock, which is what I use for my project. Absolutely love the 110 and the 120. So I printed it on this and I did use high quality ink and I turned it to high quality. But when I print it on this, you guys I'm trying to look up here and see the same thing. You can see the difference. Um, the, dip, the problem with this printing it on this paper is it's a little thinner. It's about uh, 80 pounds car stock but I like the 120 so what I did was print it on this and then I die cut it again um I don't know where my die cuts went my extra ones I die cut it out in the 120 and I just laid it on top so super smart Tamika so I thought of that after of course I printed off everything but these are fine still these are super cute I love the skate coming out of here I'm this little girl elf coming out of there so there's some sentiments. Of course, you can resize and play around because it's a digital file. And look at the cute little elves. I just love her. I, I named her Ellie. I don't know what her name is in real life, but I named her Ellie. So I put a bunch of these on them in there so they could be printed off. There's some tags. She has them in print size for journals, A4. Um, so you can pockets and stuff like that. You guys know how digital kits work. So I printed off some of these so that I can play with those. And then I have some blue ones. This is one of my favorite pieces of paper. And look at that. Super cute. So that's some of them. Some of the papers. I just actually just printed and cut it what I want it obviously to use. So I'm going to find somewhere to set that so they don't destroy anything else. So let me show you um, what we're doing today. I'm going to have a whole tutorial. I do want to tell you guys that I have a free digital file for you guys, a free SVG file that you can use um, and have. Um, and I will have the information down below on how you can access that SVG file so you can create um, one if you want to. So without further ado, let's get on to uh, me sharing with you what I created, and then we're going to put one together. Here we go.
Okay, I made these cute little boxes. <laughs> they are so stinking adorable. And it's a triangle box. So, so pretty. I have the um, offsets done. I've cut it out in her paper. This is actually a window, a window frame cardstock that's her file. Um, so I just used that to cut it up because I was going to use it for something else, but I decided that I want to keep it on here. So it's actually a window. It's really pretty snowy window. And then we have Mr. Snowman here and then a die cut out um, the word jolly and I popped him up on a dimensional. See how he's sturdy and he's vibrant in color. So I absolutely love it. So um, like I said, we'll put one of these together uh, here in a minute, but I've tied this super tight. But you guys can make one uh, on your own. And so what I did was make, um, every year I make an ornament for the Christmas tree when we put it together. I have four children. Three of them are adults and they're out of the house. So I have one here left at home. But still, we all come together and we decorate the Christmas tree um, together. So every year I've made ornaments for them and I have posted them on Instagram. I had like um a like a oh my gosh I'm drawing a blank. What is that? Ray Dunn type of ornament. I've done altered some Target porcelain gloves and um I, it's just cute stuff that I've done. And I went to Target, couldn't find any or new things that they've done for ornaments. I didn't find anything you know else. And I was like, well uh I'm gonna make my own. So that's what I did. And I'll show you guys how to do it. So this opens up. You can use whatever string you want. And I had to put this one in a plastic bag because it's super fluffy. I was a little overboard on the, on the, um, the what do you call this, yarn. But so cute. Is this not the cute? God, that opens up. So pretty. And then this is the hanging element. I'm going to put that on the tree just like that. And it's a cute little hat. <laughs> Look how puffy this is. I, I love it so much. So um, I have a flower little collage here. Just something simple to put on there. And then I uh, cut out the word hope here. And then on the back, everyone has their name on it. So that's what I do with the ornaments. I find a way to put their name on it. So this is TJ's. And I did that with some heat transfer vinyl. Let me pull it out. I've done um, a collaboration with this company, HTV Ront, and love the vinyl. Works very, very well. I have a video on this. If you guys are interested, I'll put in the cards in the description box down below. So I use that for this, and I just put TJ on there, and then I just sh stuffed it so, you know, so it can be nice and full. It's just so adorable. So that would go in there, but like I said, I could smash it down and do all that, but it'll fit still like that without the bag so it's just so so cute so that one belongs to tj and i made this one <laughs> i absolutely love this gate i love this gate so much it's pink and it's oh, it's just so 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 pretty and so um this is one of the sentiments it's actually a full square so i just cut it up and said it's a winter wonderland and look how pretty this paper is. I'm going to definitely keep, I'm going to print this some more and print more of that so I can use it in other projects. It's like a wa um, washboard. It's so, so pretty. So, um, and like I said, I put these on here, on here. I don't know why I sealed them when I know I had to do the video, but at least you know, <laughs> they are not going anywhere. Okay. How cute. I use some really coarse thread here, but... <laughs> Look at Tyler's. This one is so adorable as well. I have a handmade flower. I did a tutorial on that from Alina um, Cuddle. And then I added a little flower from my stash and the word joy. And it's just so cute. And there is Tyler name back there. Oh, my heat press is telling me I've taken too long. Okay. So then I have my little cord here at the top. And I made this one a lot less fluffy and it's look more compact. And I think it's so, so cute. So that's that one. Aren't these adorable? And I made this one. How stinking cute. Look at the little girl. Look how vibrant she is. She's just holding a little candle. She got some little wings. I cut out Noel here. So pretty. This one I made. Uh, into a window so when you get the file 
you'll be able to, you know, do with the window or do without. And then I just distressed the little triangles on this one around the edges. It's just adorable. And at the end of these little strings, I have some uh, little fluffy balls. And those came from Ariel's Shop Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. And again, I'll have links down below to everything that I'm mentioning in here that you guys, if you guys are interested in it. All right. And then this one, I used another one of um, Carrie Ann's die cuts here. It says, uh, oh, the weather outside is frightful. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And then I fit perfectly into the bottom of my box here. All the rest of them have the pattern paper, but this one I used the die cut for. And here's the last. <laughs> so I used a different string for this. Um, let me find, here it is right here. I used this and I got it from the Dollar Tree. So this is how that looks when you use the yarn from the Dollar Tree. And then if you decide to use any type of other yarn, I have this wool uh, yarn. It's thick and quick yarn. It's from Michaels. I've had that for a while. And I'm going to use another um, one today. And that's this one. And it's a lush alpaca. It's so pretty and soft and fluffy. So that's going to be cute too when we get to it. So um, I created this flower. I believe I have a tutorial on this. And that's another one of the tutorials that I'll have linked down below. And then I have the word peace here. And that's from Carrie's collection. And then there's Kyla. I used um, some of the pink um, HTV vinyl. H yeah, HTV. And then there's her little cord super super cute so that goes in here i love this cute little girl she's so pretty all right uh so that's the ones that we created now we're going to get the items together that we'll need to make one all right i have all of my pieces cut out um so this is what the file will look look like when you get it um just like this so what you want to do is fold over all of the edges. They're already perforated for you. So all you have to do is literally fold them over. I would run across them quickly with a bone folder just to make sure when you get ready to close the box, everything is nice and tight. Okay. And then it also has a hole in it. Now the hole that you'll get in your file is smaller. Um, so I just use my uh, crocodile uh, on the smallers in here and made it larger. I didn't know what you'd be using if you want to use an eyelid, if you want to use tiny string, if you want to use thread. I don't know. So it's just a tiny one. It, it's a mark. It still cuts out. Um, but it just to kind of let you know as a guide, this is the hole where it needs to go. If you want to make it bigger, totally up to you. So um, I'm going to do the one with the window for the girls and then there's no window for the boys so what I did was cut out a piece of acetate to uh, match the size of the hole here and I'm just going to use some double-sided tape make sure I'm on frame I'm just going to use some double-sided tape around the perimeter of this triangle uh, I think I wasted some kind of a marker or something on here I don't know it still works the same. So give that a nice little press. And then I'm going to take it off so we can add the acetate. Uh, I don't know if I remember mentioning that this is an SVG file. So you can use it on the Cricut and the Silhouette or whatever other cutting machine that you have. Electronic cutting machine. You can also cut it by hand too if you change it over to a JPEG, I guess, and cut it out and score it. So that's that, Look how cute that is. Adorable. And then I'm going to put my little triangle here on top. I'm gonna to use a little bit of my Nouveau um, adhesive glue, wet glue on here around the perimeter. And then make sure that this is directionally correct because it does have a little bit of script on it. And then you may have to, depending on where you lay your paper, go ahead and just re-punch your hole. 
Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and lay the rest out. And then I have the middle piece cut out for the inside. And I'm just going to lay that here. All right. And so when you close it up, it'll go like that. How stinking cute. Feel free to put something at the bottom if you want. But what a cute little gift box. Adorable. So I'm going to use the cute little elf. Oh, runaway glue stick. So I'm going to use this cute little elf. She's so adorable. And remember I was telling you I printed this on that um, specialty print paper. It prints vibrant. And I love it. I get it in the... Um, I get it in the uh, A2 or 8.5 by 11. I also get it in the really large, it's like 12 by 18. So I'll have to cut it down um, when I'm using my 12 by 12 printer. Because they don't have a 12 by 12 size, but they have the 12 by 18. So look how cute. She is just so adorable. Her eyes. Oh, I love it. So now, putting it on that 120 pound cardstock makes it more sturdier so let's see i want to put her here so i'm going to put a pop dot on her her head for the long way and her feet super cute and then um i'm going to put this word here believe that i cut out from the collection and I'm gonna bow it just a little bit, give it a little bit of curl. And then fold this end up and a little bit on this end. And then add some hot glue just to those bent ends there. And add this here and then add that there. How cute. How cute is that? So, so cute. All right. So now we're going to get the little hat together. The easiest way that I've uh, found to do this, I just cut down some chipboard, use whatever you have on hand to six inches in diameter. And then I believe it's by eight. Let me just make sure. Yes. The six by eight. I'm going to take my yarn. I'm going to wrap around this board. 20 times uh, with the six inch, uh, the long way going horizontal, the eight inch just going horizontal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just got to get to 20. Okay. That's 20. Keep this back together. All right, so we got 20 times, and then you just want to grab all of your pieces together like so. And then we're just going to cut across. And then you should have that. Okay. Now you want to take a strip of paper, cut it down to one inch by six. This is just a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So one inch by six inches. Okay. Take your bone folder, some type of curling tool, kind of curl it a bit. This is going to be the hat dimensions. You can curl this as tight or as loose as you want. TJ's hat was a little larger. Uh, it still was by six, but I didn't, uh, I just barely connected it so it can be a little larger. Tyler's uh, and Kyla's hat, look how cute these little things are. I did them, they ended up being one by five. So that just gives you a comparison. So still cut your paper one by six, but you're going to overlap it by about an inch. 
just like that. And then you get a, you know, small little, you can even do that to kind of give yourself a guide. So I'm going to put hot glue on this half inch here. I mean, this inch at the bottom. So that's how much glue I did. I'm going to roll my paper just like that. Kind of measure. Okay. And I'm using this heavy cardstock. You can use toilet paper rolls if you'd like, but this works. So you want to take your yarn and you may need more, you may need less depending on how tight this roll is, your piece, and you want to fold it in half like this and go through the bottom. You're just going to tie it in like a loop. So pull that and pull your string through there and pull it tight. Make sure you close it together. That's it. And you want to continue to do that. I'm going to do it again a few more times. Fold it in half. Pull it through. And pull the ends through the center. Tighten it up. And I just push them over. I want them to be nestled really tightly close together because one, you don't want to see the white hat or the white base on the hat and two if you're going to like put a sticker or some names on it or, uh, with vinyl then you'll need them to be close together to act like you know cloth you don't want any gaps and misses on your when you do your heat press so that's all that I'm doing and then again I just keep them close and it already is fuzzing up which is what I love you know that's how we have these cute little hats and they just like little hats. They're just so cute, real life hats. So I'm going to continue to go around this perimeter with this yarn and I will be back. Okay, here are my 20 pieces on here. You may need more, you may need less depending on the density of your yarn um, So and how big you want your fluff at the top. So those are the pieces just like that. Make sure they're all, just make sure they're all connected and where they need to be. Cute. So now you want to um, push them down through the opposite end. So push everything down through there. Makes a nice, neat, wrapped hat. It'll fit. Push it all down and bring it to the top. Make sure all of the hairs are straight there when you're pulling it through. Then you want to take your ornament, uh, not your ornament, but your hanging element and see how long you know you want to carry that all through. And I'm going to tie a knot. This yarn is from the Target Dollar Spot. It's a very nice coarse yarn. And I'm going to tie one more knot it's on top of that. It's going to be like that. Okay. I'm going to cut off the rest. Oh, ooh, I just bit down on my tooth. All right. And then this is going to go right up to the middle. Just like so. Don't let it go all the way through. Just kind of pull it just like that. Okay. You should have another one of these little pieces there that are extra. We're going to tie this around the base. Give it a little bit of room so you can have some uh, push just like that and tie this into a knot there we go nice and fluffy and then i'm going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this here and then i'm just going to pull it up through there kind of let it sit okay and look how cute this is. This is so adorable. Next thing you want to do is you want to grab uh, a little bit more yarn or cotton balls or um, some type of stuffing. I'm just going to grab a little bit extra yarn, a couple turns, and it matches, so that's fine. All right, fold it in half, 
half again and I'm going to start tying it in just a bunch of knots on top of each other. You don't have to do this obviously if you have some um, fluff or if you have like I said cotton balls or whatever but um, I'm doing it this way. Just a bunch of knots. Nothing too perfect. All right, one more here. All right. And then we're going to shove this in the middle. Look how cute that is. Push it up. Now that gives you your cute little base. Okay. So now we have this. And now you just want to do whatever trimming that you see fit. Be careful not to pull this thing here. So I'm going to just give this a little haircut. And then I'm going to give it some fluff. Just, oh my gosh, this is just too cute. Just trim this a little bit more. How cute is that? That is so adorable. So, 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 so cute. Great for craft fair, guys. If you want to make a bunch of these, if you're doing a craft fair, great for that. So now I already have, um, I already have her name cut out here. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna pick a side. The names are on the back, so I'm gonna put this here, just like that. Kind of adhere that. And I have my little mini press. So I'm going to put this on top of here. And this little sheets will protect it. But I always, once it get adhered a little bit, I always go back and take it off. And put it directly on the HTV. But they don't suggest that you do that. So I don't want to put this too flat. Because I, I, I don't want to put this down on the table. Because one, it'll mess up my mat with the heat. It'll warp it. Two, it'll mess up my hat. The um, the circumference of it. And I'm trying to hold it while this is heating up. So that's why I'm doing this this way. You can only, you can't do it before. Oh, my tailor is crooked. You can't do it before because obviously you don't know where your yarn's going to be. Let's see how it looks now. Cute. I'm going to just run this over here again really quickly. And there we have it. So adorable. And then on the front, I have the little flower here. And then I have the little handmade flower that I made. Well, I made both of them, but I have the smaller version here. Put that behind there a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. And then I've die cut the word peace. And I'm just going to leave it in its original, or I'm not going to back it up with anything. All right, I'm going to stick this in there like so, and put that on there. Cute. How cute is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. And then that's going to go there. And then we're going to grab one more string. You could use ribbon, yarn, lace, trim, whatever. And then I like to put a little bit of glue at the bottom of my string and then roll it so that it can, because this is yarn, it's, I don't want it to unravel as we're going through these holes here. So make sure that that fits. I'm gonna push this fluff down a little bit. She's giving me TJ hat vibes. And then. All right, that'll work. So take the end with the glue and I'm going to go in through the front. Pull that through. And then I'm going to go to my left and go out. And I'm pulling it tight and pulling them together as they roll around there. Make sure everything fits. And then we're gonna go back in on this third piece from the inside out. There we go. 
I would probably come back and put this in a bag, to be honest, but it's fine. Just a little sticky outy. And then I just tie this in a little knot. Not a knot. Just tie this in a little bow. Oh, I'm so off frame right now. All right. Feel free to put little whatever's at the end of your string. And there you have it. So adorable. These are super cute. Again, we have this one here. And then this one. And finally, this one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Carrie Ann English and her Chevy Art Club. Um, you'll absolutely love it. And like I said, I've been a member or was a member of her for a very long time. Um, the Shabby Art Boutique. Um, it's a monthly subscription. I think it's like maybe $8. It's really inexpensive, but you get so much more. Lots of projects and stuff. Uh, I'll put the link to my printers, my whatever I mentioned here, and as well as the free SVG file if you guys are interested. All right, like this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Just hit the like button for me. That would be totally awesome. Even better if you leave a comment. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.